All too often, I hear leaders talk about providing everyone with dignity and respect like it's an aspirational goal. That's not good enough. Dignity and respect is the bare minimum. It's the floor of where we can be. We must set our sights higher and focus on intentional inclusivity because there are still far too many people out there, not just LGBTQ individuals, that feel marginalized, shut out, or discriminated against. So for all of you out there, I ask you to set out your symbols of pride, share your pronouns in your email, particularly if you're a person who doesn't think they need to, initiate difficult conversations about racial and gender barriers, and share a bit of a vo your vulnerability in a way that draws others in. You all have the power to take intentionally inclusive actions to ensure the multiple perspectives that we know make us stronger as we devise winning warfighting strategies get heard. Questions whether prioritizing pronoun inclusivity in military discussions might divert attention from core military objectives. It explores how emphasizing transgender rights within the military could impact recruitment efforts and alter perceptions of the military's seriousness and efficiency. The interplay between identity politics and military strategy raises concerns about whether initiatives like pronoun inclusivity truly enhance military cohesion or distract from essential issues. Psychological repercussions of online criticism on individuals like transgender Space Force Colonel Briefram are discussed, along with the challenges of promoting inclusivity amid societal resistance. The argument for intentional inclusiveness contributing to stronger combat power is countered by the risk of division and distraction from fundamental military goals. Balancing inclusivity with military efficacy emerges as a critical aspect of the broader discourse.